Hi everyone, it's CJ here at Hollywood Makeup School. Today I would like to make a little video just to show you how to sanitize your makeup brushes properly, how to use all of your makeup and how to sanitize them. You know, so to make sure that you don't contaminate your makeup and also there's no cross contamination from one makeup um, client to the other. All right, so first thing first, you have to make sure all of your clean brushes are stored inside you know something like this so that it can protect your clean brushes from getting dirty from getting contaminated okay and then you should have a separate container where you put all of your dirty brushes in so that you know once you use them on a client you put it here and then you know they're dirty they're not supposed to be used on anyone else before you um, sanitize them properly First thing first, you have to imagine that your hands are right now covered in something really, really dirty, right? It's because you're just working on someone. Okay, so now when you're grabbing the brush, so this handle is now dirty, okay? So now we're cleaning it. Sanitize. We clean, clean, clean. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then we are going to sanitize the bristles of the brushes. So now the bristles here are um, sanitized, right? But the handles are still dirty. So I would like you to sanitize your hands first. Okay. And then use the alcohol to spray all over the handle to the other side. and just let it air dry. So I would usually actually sanitize my hands once again after this is all nice and dry and then put it away into my um, container. So for your foundation brushes, you definitely should use um, soap to clean them because it's a lot harder to clean. So you would want to use like some um, hot or you know warm water. Just run the brushes through. Just work into it like this. Okay. And then you would want to leave this to air dry. Okay, when you air dry, just put on a piece of pa cl um, clean paper towel and then just leave it to air dry, just like that. All right guys, so here is my assistant right here. His name is Kiss. All right, so now let's say he is my client. Before I start working on a client, I want to make sure that I sanitize my hands and make sure that my palette and my palette knife is also nice and clean as well. So when you work with liquid product, for example, like eyeshadow primer, then you would want to, you know, put your eyeshadow primer on your palette or on your palette knife. You never want to apply this directly onto client skin because then whatever um, germ that the client has will go right into the tube and contaminate the whole thing. Okay, now for loose powders, I always put banana powder or loose powder on a piece of paper towel. Or even if it comes in a container like this, take it right onto the paper towel, use the brush, this onto the client. Okay. Now, what if you use pressed powder? Powder like this, and you need to go from this directly onto a client's face, back to this, back to this, you know. So now this is contaminated. What can you do? The 99% alcohol is super, super awesome. You can literally spray it quite 
quite a lot. I'm spraying it quite a lot directly onto the product like this. And it will not destroy your product whatsoever. It is sanitized properly. So for your mascara, for your lip color, um, like this lip gloss, you know, you should use a disposable mascara wand like this or um, this fluffed applicator or lip gloss um, applicator, you know, at, at one time use, make sure you get enough product. You can get a lot of product and put it on your um, palette like this, okay? Once I apply it on my client, I'm not going to double dip or dip into the tube again. Otherwise, I'm going to contaminate the whole thing, okay? So, with lip color like this, to use your clean, sanitized palette knife to get the product out and use this, okay? And apply this, use this to apply onto the client. Now, for your pencil product, you should definitely sanitize this and then sharpen your pencil if you need to. Before using on the client, you should sanitize, so leave it to air dry, make sure there's no more alcohol um, left sitting on the product before using on the client, okay? especially if you use an eyeliner pencil. So let's say I applied this on my client's lip liner and pencil already, right? I'm holding on the client, I apply very bad client. <laughs> okay, so before I put it away, I am going to sanitize this really, really well before I put it away. Well, I hope you learned something useful today and thank you for watching me and my lovely assistant gotta go he's hungry bye bye <laughs>